three years ago, we set about establishing the Central Chilterns Farmer Cluster. So 18 farmers in and around the, the Central Chilterns area working together to look at habitat creation and really trying to bolster our local wildlife. And, and hedges have been the mainstay of that of the cluster's work really. So, so brilliant to share after the last two years now, the work we've been able to do on hedges across the cluster groups. We've got load, loads of yellow hammers and um, harvest mice on the farm. Um, tons of different stuff here. The, the surveys have, have shown what, you know, what an important resource hedges are. And um, yeah, all this stuff that we're doing for them is really, it's, you know, we've had the surveys done, recommendations for, for, for what will produce a, a vibrant hedge that will provide more habitat, more food, for, for, the, um, for the, the birds and the animals which live there. Um, but, uh, but we know also that the more vibrant the hedge, the better it is at storing carbon. And um, that's what we've got to do for the future, to do our bit for the environment. Which was triggered initially with a whole series of workshops and training sessions with, with hedgerow experts, helping the farmers better understand just what it is the wildlife needs. So what our breeding birds, our yellowhammers, what they need from their hedges, how better to manage and how we can create more and connect the hedges across the landscape. One of the reasons that the um, Farming and Protected Landscapes programme wanted to fund this, um, this hedgerows project was because it was a very good fit with the um, the aims of the programme, particularly in, with regard to biodiversity um, and mitigating climate change and also um, in terms of reinforcing and enhancing the character of the landscape. Um, so uh, that combined with the fact that um, we were able to work at scale by working with the, uh, the farm cluster, we were able to do a lot of work across the landscape um, and really scale it up and achieve a lot. Um, by having this collaboration between all the different um, farms over one, over one season to do the work. So our work in the Hedgerow Project is focused on three main techniques really essentially. So first, firstly with planting hedges. So trying to look where we can make connections on a farm between a woodland or another hedge to make those ecological corridors for our wildlife. We've planted a native mix of rich species you expect in the Chilterns. So main focus on planting hedges. Second thing we've been doing on, on hedges that are looking a little bit tired, a little bit leggy and, and maybe lacks a little bit of management over recent years, we a technique called coppicing. Where essentially we take the cop cut the hedge right down to stumps. It was quite brutal, but it allows the hedge to really have vigorous regrowth, creating that really bushy bottom structure that our wildlife, our yellow hammers and our breeding birds and mammals really love. So, so coppicing the second technique. And the third technique, the traditional more traditional technique, laying a hedge, where we take the hedge right back down, we cut the stems down, not cut them in half, cut them off but then bend them over so you get that really thick structure underneath the hedge, you get the regrowth coming up from the hedge again to create that bottom structure, that bottom density that our wildlife really likes. So three main techniques we've employed across the farms in the, in the project in the last two years. I'm Harriet, I work at the Chilterns Conservation Board. Um, we've been working with 10 farms over the last two years. Um, we've put together uh, plans for where we should plant new hedges and where hedges needed renovation. And um, we've delivered nearly 10 kilometres of new hedge planting, um, two and a half kilometres of coppice hedges, nearly 12 kilometres of new fencing, uh, 200 metres of hedge laying. Hi, I'm Debbie. I run a small beef farm in the Chiltern Hills. Um, we've recently had lots of hedge work done, mainly coppicing and hedge planting and stock fencing. Our hedges were all very old and leggy and the cattle were all in them and the fences were broken. So we've had them all coppiced and gapped up and stock fenced. Um, the perimeter fences have all been done to provide the hedge to regrow as a much better habitat. Thanks to Fipple and the, uh, the, 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 uh, the organisers of this project, we've, we've planted over a one and a half, one and a quarter kilometres of new hedge. We've had a load of coppicing done. Uh, we've had uh, some hedge laying done and to keep that all safe from the livestock, of fencing done as well. 
So um, my hedge laying, this was a project that was by, uh, done by volunteers and they were trained for a day and then they spent a week out here and this was the Chiltern Rangers and I think they got a lot out of it. The volunteers really enjoyed hedge laying and uh, I've got a lovely hedge. We've helped to recruit, to select and recruit contractors um, and I've been the one who's you know saved the work of the farmers by meeting the contractors on the site, showing exactly where the hedge is going. Um, we've chosen a species mix of up to 12 hedging species um, and uh, I've been the one uh, overseeing the work, um, the hedging, hedge planting but also the fencing and the gates. Hi, my name's Gareth Richard. I'm director of RR Estates Management, and we are here on three different farms in the Chilterns planting eight native species of hedging. Um, and today, obviously, we've got four, four lads on site. Um, we're, we're prepping the ground, taking, taking the organic matter off, and then obviously loosening the soil and making it easier for the shrubs to go in so the roots go down to obviously give them the best chance of survival. The Hedgerow project has been very important to me because it's helped me. Uh, I could never afford all the uh, fencing and I couldn't connect to all the different suppliers, the planters of the trees and the fencing contractors. And it's good to be a, a member of a larger project for the cluster group. The whole package is, is absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, I, I just can't, you know, thank the the the, the, the project enough for helping to organise it because it's it's really been um, fantastic to see all this happening. The, in the past, you know, we, we haven't been able to to, um, to 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 do all of this because it's just so much of a headache to organise. But now it's all just happened. Um, and uh, the, the wildlife is going to benefit enormously.